Hi there. Uh, we start uh, our next uh, webinar and uh, the topic uh, of today's um, webinar is processing of uh, scanner satellite stereo pair and we work with uh, GOI stereo pair and uh, let's start with uh, checking sound and the picture. I hope everything is okay. Please write me. <laughs> is it true? And we start. Okay, thank you. Um, and uh, let's start with uh, uh, starting photo mode. Let's double click. And uh, create a new project with create button. It's a GUI project. I have a lot. It's the third, I think. Uh, and um, next step, uh, we need to choose type project type here. Uh, it is satellite scanner imagery. Uh, and let's choose coordinate system. Press select button. And uh, here you can see the list of uh, last coordinate system uh, which were used on this workstation. Uh, let's use from database international. Uh, there is incremental search uh, and let's enter 84 space 38. Yeah, it's a north, uh, northern um, hemisphere uh, and press OK. If you know, uh, enter the relief elevation, but it is not necessary uh, and choose um, the placement of the project. The full pass there is and press OK button. The system uh, suggests uh, creation of a uh, new strip. Press OK. And uh, let's add images into the strip uh, from file. Uh, let's use a block editor window to open this uh, window use the menu command window block editor and add images from file okay now we need to find uh, the folder with source data mm, computer disk t mm, sad data Joy. And here um, in this folder you can see two folders with uh, original uh, with source images, with source data. It is a TIFF with uh, <coughs> supporting files uh, and uh, it's uh, please don't uh, rename these files and folders, uh, don't uh, move them. Uh, and uh, here uh, we need just uh, start searching with search button and there is a uh, option selected folder and subfolders and the system uh, search uh, rasters uh, with, with metadata uh, from these subfolders. Press search button there is there are two uh, images. Uh, if necessary uh, we can use uh, this button show raster without, meta without metadata. Uh, sometimes uh, for example if we don't have any result here in this uh, uh, table uh, there is no any uh, images uh, we need to switch it on and uh, search again. Uh, maybe we have some problem with uh, reading of metadata, but uh, here uh, in our case uh, if uh, in the type column uh, you can see the name of the product or a satellite, it means that everything is okay with reading of metadata, so uh, we can continue. Uh, uh, there is another option, show details, if we switch it on and press search button, uh, it opens a uh, uh, window uh, with additional information. Uh, there, is, there are uh, all files uh, from these uh, folders and a lot. 
off and if necessary we can perform here uh, pan sharpening but now uh, this button is not active because we work with uh, two uh, panchromatic uh, images so let's close it uh, and continue with um, radiometry we can start uh, radiometry correction for select selected uh, image here in this list press radiometry button and the system uh, orders uh, us to perform geometric uh, outer levels and randomization of histogram uh, because uh, this um, raster is 16-bit per sample say yes we need to yes with uh, by default settings okay uh, we need to normalize histogram Uh, in this window, uh, we can uh, perform, we can change some radiometric characteristic of uh, this image uh, with uh, brightness, contrast, gamma, uh, or we can um, use curves with preview. Yeah. Let's apply and look at the result closer one by one. Yes, I think it looks okay. Uh, if you work here uh, with um, multi uh, multi channels uh, image, uh, this uh, these two um, buttons are active, and here we can uh, choose the order of uh, channels uh, for this raster. After that, uh, all geometric parameters uh, which were um, changed uh, here uh, and uh, the order of uh, channels will be saved into the file with geometric parameters and uh, later we can use we will use it so press OK here and we can perform the same for the next image press geometry correction yes OK One, one by one and use the same button with curves preview hmm. no bad result excuse me hmm. cancel <laughs> and try again <laughs> a lot of point preview hmm, something like this press apply and press OK. Now uh, we can see two pluses in this uh, column. It means that uh, radiometric correction uh, is done and uh, we can pass to editing uh, these images into the project. We can add selected or add all. Use this button. Mm, say no here because uh, it is recommended uh, to uh, store uh, images of the project outside the project's folder um, because um, for example if we save for them into the project folder and we decide to uh, delete this project all images will be deleted um, the same so here say no and just um, point uh, uh, system to the new uh, folder uh, in this window, uh, we need to set the parameters for um, converting. And the first step, uh, correction parameters. Uh, as I have already said, uh, we have files with uh, geometric uh, parameters and we can save uh, them separately. In this way, in this way uh, all uh, parameters, uh, geometric parameters will be applied to the image on the fly. Uh, and uh, if uh, we work with uh, multi channels images uh, before the original uh, images uh, after converting uh, we will have the same image with uh, uh, multi we will have multi channels uh, multi -ch channel uh, image uh, if we apply uh, these uh, geometric uh, parameters uh, to image, this way we will work with uh, three channel image. And uh, it uh, will be uh, eight uh, bit per sample image. So in our case, we work with uh, 
one channel, so we can apply it to image. Uh, other um, settings, it's color depth, it's uh, 8 bit per sample if necessary, switch on the compression. Uh, format. Mm, by default, uh, there is uh, auto option uh, is switched on, uh, and um, this way, if uh, the final files, uh, raster files, more than four gigs, uh, the system uh, use negative format for working with big files. Otherwise, uh, it is uh, MSTIF. It is TIF with pyramid uh, to to make visualization faster. Uh, let's uh, choose output folder here. Project. Hmm, I have a lot of. Let's create a new one. Okay. Okay. And uh, we can start uh, edit, uh, editing images to the project. And there is a normalize histogram option and we recommend uh, use, uh, to use this option, uh, for example, if you work with a big project and uh, this uh, option allows us to perform diametric parameter geometric correction automatically for all images. Um, now uh, we uh, open the geometric correction window for each image separately. Um, for example, if I have a lot of uh, image, uh, it's uh, it's easier just uh, switch on this option here and uh, before we can uh, create a small sub block uh, to check the result and if it's, if uh, we are satisfied with the result, we can use this automatic option for all images. So, in our case, we apply uh, all correction for to image and press OK button. Uh, it takes a bit time. Let's wait. OK, it is finished. Press OK button here. And now uh, we can see the block layout. Uh, uh, it here have been created with um, metadata. Uh, it seems that uh, we have only one image. <laughs> it is not true. Here in block editor window we can see um, both images and uh, set uh, uh, images from uh, scanner satellite uh, stereo pair uh, have almost 100% uh, overlapping. So. Uh, it looks okay, and now uh, let's pass to ground control points. Uh, we don't need to measure here on tie points because it is a stereo GUI stereo pair with RPC, and uh, we don't need any tie points here. Uh, and uh, let's import uh, ground control points into the project. Use uh, this GCP list button. Let's input uh, coordinates into the project. Let's look at this file with notepad. And here the, in the header of the column and the name of the point, coordinates and the accuracy. Close it. With double click uh, we choose this file and uh, for example if we don't uh, have here a uh, convenient template, for example, let's delete it. We can see asterisk in header of column, uh, but uh, we have um, the name uh, here in the first line of um, the file. We can use this button, template from the first preview line. Yeah, <laughs> it works. Um, Otherwise, we can uh, use double click to delete some of them uh, and uh, we can use this um, uh, name, uh, this uh, field to rename some of them. No, it's not correct. It's here, 
here. And uh, we need to start import from second line. Yeah, now it looks yeah, okay. Uh, if it's necessary, we can uh, convert coordinate system. Mm, now press OK button. Here we can select uh, needed points. OK. And five points were added into the project. OK. And from this list, we can uh, pass to measuring uh, control points. With double click, we open image. Uh, we open points measurement window, uh, and uh, the system tries to show us the right um, position of point by its coordinate. Uh, the accuracy of this jump depends on um, block accuracy of block layout. And so let's start measure point. Uh, with click, I activate this uh, window, and with Ctrl plus Alt key on the keyboard, I can zoom in and zoom out with mouse wheel. Hmm. I don't remember exactly <laughs> position of each point, and I hope <laughs> it's uh, it's okay. Uh, to add measure for uh, this point. Uh, on this image, use this button. In the brackets, we can see the name of uh, hotkey on the keyboard. And now I activate this uh, right image with Alt. I can pen it. Hmm. Wait, please. Somewhere here. And with the space key, yeah, I add uh, this point with creator. Okay, next point. Control, control plus plus Alt. Add next point with insert hot key on the keyboard. Found the same position on the right image and press Enter. Cancel. Let's uh, check this position. Closer. Uh, yeah, it looks like. Okay. Third point. Insert. Right image with space key. Okay. I'm not sure about this point, okay, but uh, uh, we will uh, check this this measurement a bit later in the in solver. So and the last one. Okay, and uh, press OK button. And now let's check our measurements in solver. I'll start block adjustment. Uh, and uh, here on the sole step, we can see our stereo pair with. Uh, ground control points and now let's open parameters window. The first step is points and there is a coordinate system. Uh, we can um, change it here. In this section we can enter uh, a prior accuracy of source data and uh, there is option use type points and block adjustment. Uh, we 
return to this option a bit later. Let's pass to uh, the next uh, tab and there is uh, two our images and the first uh, step we need to um, we, need, we need to choose um, adjustment method and there are three methods in photo mode. The first one is rigorous um, and uh, which of them is used depends on metadata, depends on uh, satellite and uh, for example if uh, in metadata there is information about rigorous model of sensor, we use rigorous method. Uh, now we work with uh, GUI and they use RPC. Uh, it is uh, coefficients, it's mathematic model uh, which describe uh, the sensor model, the satellite orientation uh, during uh, forming uh, images, these images. So I, now we use uh, this method. Uh, sometimes, uh, for example, we have uh, scanner images, uh, but uh, we don't have any uh, metadata and we uh, know nothing about orientation and sensor model, uh, so we use a generic method. Uh, this, uh, this method uh, we need uh, more uh, ground control points for this method and uh, in our user manual uh, there are uh, two very useful uh, tables and I can show them. Yes, it's here and uh, in the project creation user manual you can find uh, this information about uh, recommended uh, numbers of ground control points uh, for adjustment uh, different uh, with different method rigorous RPC and generic uh, and there are, uh, there is another table with accuracy of scanner block and uh, let's return to the first one and here RPC method now we work with GUI and uh, we need uh, from one to four ground control points and there is a uh, number uh, of checkpoints. It's uh, recommended uh, numbers but uh, it helps us uh, to estimate uh, the accuracy uh, correctly but uh, usually practically we uh, have a less point. And please note, for example, for generic method, uh, we need uh, more than seven, seven uh, ground control points to, to start adjustment. Okay, let's return to our project, to the solver. Uh, and uh, here uh, we use RPC method uh, for both image, images. Um, and uh, now uh, we are going to perform stereo vectorization and DTM creation and we need uh, we need to create stereo pair so let's check this option and uh, we create stereo pair from uh, images uh, with images from uh, from the single strip and it's recommended uh, to add a stereo pair into uh, into single strip and for example if we have uh, a few stereo pair we need to create a strip for each of the stereo pair and <coughs> excuse me uh, use adjustment result to create a popular uh, images uh, usually uh, it works okay but uh, if you have some problem with uh, quality of stereo pair uh, it's, uh, for example, it's difficult to see the level of object. Uh, for example, for asynchronous uh, stereo pair, uh, we, uh, we may try to switch it off, uh, measure some tie points uh, to create a bipolar image and uh, use the tie points for bipolar, uh, for, uh, for creation of bipolar images. Uh, but if it uh, works okay and uh, you are satisfied with the result, uh, we use uh, both uh, these options. 
next step it's computing device mm -hmm. and uh, now uh, we uh, work with CPU uh, there is another uh, way uh, we can use uh, video card our graphic adapter and uh, it must uh, support it uh, CUDA technology uh, and uh, it's recommended to use uh, when we work with a big block uh, which uh, contain uh, a lot of images uh, for example mono block uh, with a small overlapping zone and we can uh, add type points in these small overlap overlapping zones and uh, this way we try to decrease uh, the number of needed uh, ground control points for example um, if we have uh, needed numbers of GCPs uh, for not for all uh, images from this block and um, we we'll just uh, add type points and try to adjust this block uh, this way and um, next now we uh, work without uh, type points so we use CPU CPU here uh, next uh, parameters uh, next settings it's uh, uh, way how, how to compute uh, refinement to uh, RPC uh, so by default it's uh, auto option and uh, if you um, uh, if you have uh, not very accurate uh, ground control points uh, we recommend uh, use uh, this option to check the measurement uh, and uh, for example if we uh, use some um, basis georeferenced uh, images to find ground control points or map uh, we can control them this way, I mean our measurements. OK, press apply button and press OK. Compute. OK, now we can see the result in a short uh, report window. If it's closed, we can open this window, this uh, button. Okay, we have really big <laughs> errors and uh, let's check our ground control points uh, with the uh, residual vectors. Open this window, view scale screen and just okay. Now we can see the, the worst point. It's here. Let's check it. Of course now uh, I have to use some maps uh, or something like that to check my ground control points uh, maybe I have uh, some problem with uh, recognition of this point on the image it seems like this one I will try okay and uh, to apply uh, this changing press OK and compute again and let's check now this point oh this button I don't remember exactly okay wait please <laughs> I have to check my measurements the first one and the second one
Ага. Yeah, I see some difference. Okay, let's try again. Mm -hmm. I have some problem, some problems here maybe. No, I think it's correct position. Sometimes uh, I, now I need to hide this point. Just check the position. No, it looks okay. Okay, uh, now uh, we need to check uh, all our measurements. I have some very big uh, errors uh, in measurements and uh, let's <laughs> choose another project here to continue uh, with uh, DTM and stereo vectorization and uh, let's look at uh, another project. Yes, with saving. I think it looks the same. For example, this one. Let's check ground control points. Yeah, sometimes uh, we need to check them in stereo mode. Yes, another point. I have doubts about this point. I'm not sure about correct position in previous um, project. Yeah, it looks like. Okay, let's cancel and let's check this adjustment of this block. Parameters, image. Yeah, it looks okay. Press okay and compute. Yeah, the accuracy, uh, <laughs> the residuals uh, looks better than in previous project, but uh, of course we have to work with this accuracy. We have to check uh, ground control points again because uh, here it's possible to get uh, the accuracy of the adjustment uh, about uh, half a meter. Uh, so we can continue uh, with editing of uh, these measurements, but uh, Let's save this adjustment and pass uh, to um, block processing. Uh, so, exit with saving data. And uh, now uh, let's start with uh, stereo vectorization and uh, start stereo window. Use this button. Uh, let's look at the stereo. And uh, if you if you have an anglific glasses, use them, please. And uh, let's start with um, a marker control. Uh, in photo mode, uh, there is uh, two primary uh, modes for marker movement. And uh, the default is uh, moving marker mode. Uh, I can change the marker position with left mouse button. Uh, and I can adjust the level of the marker with mouse wheel. And uh, another uh, marker mode. Uh, it is a fixed marker mode or room mode. And uh, we can activate uh, it with uh, F6 key. So I don't need to use left mm, mouse button, just move mouse and uh, I can move image, but uh, marker stays in the center of the screen and uh, use uh, F6 key to deactivate this mode. Um, the mode uh, to use depends on operator habits and uh, the main difference between this mode is uh, that in the room mode uh, we can move marker uh, posi uh, position. Uh, we can move uh, marker um, by Z uh, with uh, subpixels, subpixel accuracy. Uh, so um, let's pass to um, 
marker control, another marker control uh, hotkey, and uh, with Alt we can pen our image. Shift plus mouse will allows us to change visual parallax of uh, oh no shift plus mouse will only shift and shift I can change uh, visual parallax of the stereo pair okay and uh, now uh, let's create some uh, vector object. And uh, in order to do this, just uh, create vector layer. It is activated. Uh, use uh, the same hot uh, keys, uh, Ctrl plus Alt plus mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out. And now let's create, for example, black line. This black line. Uh, which define um, relief, characteristic uh, line of relief. Uh, and uh, let's open uh, toolbar, toolbars uh, with vectors. And here, uh, here we choose uh, break lines. We can create point, ob point object, uh, polyline and polygons now in the second mode and uh, with the um, insert button I can add uh, vertices of new object with left mouse button I change the position of the marker in needed place and with insert button I add vertices into this polyline uh, to enter with um, space key. I can adjust uh, marker level uh, with correlator and uh, here uh, in this uh, part of the window we can see uh, correlator and autocorrelator coefficient. Uh, so if it's uh, now it's okay uh, but uh, sometimes the correlator is uh, the correlated coefficient is very low and so the system says that it is bad point and we need to try again yeah. or adjust it with mouse wheel. Uh, we can uh, set uh, insert button to the right mouse uh, button to finish this um, object press enter. Um, to select uh, this object, just uh, double click, ne double click uh, near this object. Uh, to select uh, vertex, just uh, move the marker into this position. Is and with control key on the keyboard, we can move. And with the left mouse button, of course, we can move uh, the vertices vertex uh, into the new position. The same way we can add a uh, point object. Oh, now uh, break line uh, is uh, selected, so we add new point to this uh, object. So I uh, select this vertex, just press delete and press escape. And now I can add some points. Okay, now uh, I can uh, save this vector layer with the right mouse click, save. Okay. And uh, we can close it, for example, now. And uh, in photo mode, uh, uh, practically we, um, there are two um, purposes of, of um, vectorization it is uh, map creating or, or DTM uh, creation so um, let's consider um, the DTM creation now uh, and um, we use uh, points uh, to describe the surface and we use uh, break line uh, to refine our uh, model uh, so let's uh, create uh, points 
DTM points uh, automatically. And um, okay, I switch stereo mode off. And now uh, first we uh, need to uh, create grid layer grid create. And now uh, we need to draw the uh, area of interest with uh, shift key. Hey. Oh no, excuse me, scores. Hey, wait please. Yeah, uh, I hold on uh, shift key on the keyboard and with left mouse button just draw this area. Grid properties and here um, set uh, the step for example 10 here and 10 meter here that level uh, adjust uh, with uh, uh, average level for the stereo after adjustment and press OK and now we work this uh, with this area vector compute points automatically And the first step, we need to choose correlator preset. I think it's uh, by its name, it's rural area. And uh, search area, all images, selected images, or uh, active stereo pair. In our, in our case, we work, our block uh, consists of uh, only one stereo pair. Uh, we use this option here. Here uh, it's approximate uh, area, it's approximate node count um, our uh, current uh, grid mm. and uh, initial approximation. Now we use mean stereo pair elevation but uh, it's recommended uh, for example if you have uh, use uh, them uh, for example, SRTM or Jutopa, then we can uh, download it uh, in internet and uh, save it in our coordinate system and use it uh, as initial approximation. Just select it from photo mode resource system. And here we need to enter the precision uh, of this model. Mm -hmm. Additional settings, I think. Uh, these options uh, speaks for themselves. Save. We can uh, save uh, quality assessment to attributes. And uh, destination. Uh, now uh, here we can see that uh, our um, grid is uh, small. Uh, so we uh, can load uh, these uh, vectors into vector layer and work with it. But sometimes uh, if we work with a big block and uh, nodes count more than, uh, is more uh, than uh, three or four or five millions, uh, so it's recommended save uh, this um, uh, this uh, vector layer into resources uh, with splitting uh, into um, parts by stereo pair or rectangle sheets and it's uh, easier to control uh, to edit it with black lines for example if for example a few operators work with the same project uh, and just uh, separate the area of interest for each operator so say cancel here and load into vector layer. Uh, I will not start this uh, process because it's uh, too long and just uh, load uh, the result for this uh, stereo pair. I say cancel and I can close this layer without saving and just vector load. from another project, yeah, oh, rural, uh, it, uh, the name of preset, open, okay, and uh, let's look at the result in stereo mode.
it is a layer without filtration, just a correlator box. And what about our buildings? Yeah, there are some points on the roof. So we need to start filtration for this layer uh, to delete all these points on the roof, on the trees. And there is a cloud, so we don't have any points here. Uh, just uh, let's uh, create tin to look at the result before filtration and after that, after filtration, so tin create all rural vector layer display quasi contours. It helps us to see the bad points uh, and press OK. OK. And here we can see concentrate uh, contours. It means that uh, there is some bad points. And look at the result closer. Yeah. Uh, now uh, let's close tin, this tin. No. Mm, no. And now let's filter this uh, layer. It's uh, vectors. Filter. Building set agitation filter. OK. Remove. Mm -hmm. Remove near the border. It's recommended. Yes, it's, for example, 20 meters. A filtered. Uh -huh. Copy points to the new layer before removing. OK. Yes. And uh, our filter works. Uh, with uh, three uh, passes and by default is uh, the first to uh, switch on. Let's use it by default and uh, there is an option uh, recalculate parameters for average distance uh, for this layer. So if you need to change some parameters here use this button. <laughs> I don't, I will not press <laughs> this button. <laughs> And uh, it's it's okay. Uh, it works. To, it works uh, if we use uh, uh, settings by the by default settings. So uh, here use all available CPU scores. So let's uh, we can start this process, but uh, the same it takes time. So let's uh, I load. Uh, 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 this layer after filtration, so I close this one and open this one from the Joy Project One. Yeah, yeah. Uh, filter, open. Okay. Some could not compute it. Uh, they uh, was uh, they were uh, created in other project with uh, other adjustment. So let's continue. Now uh, there is no point, bad point uh, around this cloud and let's look at the buildings. Yeah, now let's create uh, tin again and look at the result. Okay, with the same settings. Okay. And let's look at the result here. The same with cloud. Okay, now uh, we can uh, create. Uh, if it, if it's necessary, we can uh, uh, refine this model with uh, break line uh, in some uh, difficult uh, places, for example, bridge or something like that. And uh, now we can create uh, them build from tin set uh, enter uh, cell size I think 10 meters it's okay and press OK button yes and our project mm -hmm. resource name 2 for example and save I can switch off the stereo mode 
We can close uh, stereo pair window and work with uh, uh, block layout window now. Okay. Let's uh, close team without saving. Yes. Now uh, it is our dem. And uh, for example, now we work with um, uh, the reference coordinate system and uh, let's uh, use uh, service uh, load web map. And for example, here we can uh, load SRTM there. And let's look at the result. Just press OK. It takes a bit time to load this. I uh, hide our dam from photo mode. And there is global dam. Let's look at information. Yes, it's uh, our new layer. Uh, so now we can uh, save uh, this uh, dam with dam, save copy. For example, SRTM. Save. And now, uh, after we create uh, them, we can pass to a mosaic model uh, to create uh, auto photo map. Let's start mosaic. Okay, let's create preview. It's our it's our uh, image and uh, open the parameters window here. Uh, the first step type of DTM and here we choose our dem. And, uh, let's start with uh, photo mode dem. It's this one and press open. Mm. Here we can. Uh, and uh, the cell size of auto map. Let's create MST, for example. If necessary, compression and another reference file, for example, uh, TFW. Um, bright, no, we don't need any brightness adjustment uh, now because we work with uh, one uh, image. Uh, I mean, we don't need to stitch a few images uh, here. Uh, so, um, okay, uh, and uh, let's start, uh, for example, this option, it's mosaic accuracy control uh, with our ground control points. Uh, so it looks this way and for example, let's uh, use another uh, dem, I mean SRTM, just uh, compare the result parameters and here choose another dam open okay and uh, look at the result of accuracy control again and uh, now uh, we have uh, the errors uh, residuals uh, more than uh, with them uh, from stereo mode from photo mode uh, okay, and uh, now we can create, for example, a small small part of this uh, of this uh, preview with shift. I draw this region and just uh, use build mosaic button. Here I can find I can uh, choose uh, needed format, and it's okay. Tiff and place for our mosaic. For example, new folder. Save. Yeah, we can uh, save mosaic project and all these parameters, all the settings, I mean. And press OK button. Now I can see the result here in mosaic. 
and uh, it is uh, our auto uh, or the uh, map uh, so let's uh, uh, now uh, I look at your questions I think uh, we finished with uh, our topic uh, of this webinar and uh, uh, let's make a small pause now uh, and uh, I will be here in a few minutes please wait excuse me uh, I'm here again and uh, let's start with um, your questions and uh, the first uh, one uh, it takes time <laughs> I need to read it and understand please wait the first one what uh, you do if you want to um, produce 16 bit authors and this way we just uh, save uh, radiometric parameters uh, separately and uh, don't apply them to images and this way we uh, work with 16 bit uh, image uh, in accordance with uh, our settings in parameter uh, window for converting uh, would it better to include more GCPs? Um, yes, uh, yes, of course. The more we, uh, the more GCPs uh, we have, uh, the better um, result. And in our case, uh, of course, uh, I have to uh, more accurate to measure all these points and to check them. Another question. Uh, uh, when we work uh, with, um, okay, I close, I close mosaic window and uh, let's uh, return to uh, correlator, I mean vector, compute points automatically. Uh, okay, and there is some uh, Russian names of the same presets and it's uh, not editing uh, presets. It's the same preset but in the name in Russian. And uh, another, uh, the next, next question, uh, please wait. Uh, if uh, one is working with a very big image, is there a way to process it uh, by parts and don't affect the final result? Uh, of uh, the dam. Uh, uh, what do you mean process? Uh, do you want uh, to create uh, them by uh, part uh, or what? Or you want to adjust uh, the block by part? Of course uh, it's possible we can uh, create some part, uh, some sub block and uh, work with them and uh, actually um, we can uh, split big block into sub blocks and adjust them and create uh, DTM for example and we can uh, uh, use uh, all images uh, together only in mosaic. Uh, for example, there is a special option to add uh, images from another photo mode project after adjustment. And uh, if uh, we adjust this block and uh, the accuracy uh, of adjustment uh, is the same, we can without any problem to use uh, these images uh, together in the same mosaic project from different uh, photo mode projects. Mm, and uh, of course if we work, I say cancel here, and uh, if we work uh, with a big uh, block here, we can just, uh, for example, if we um, need to create uh, them DTM by parts, we can create a small part, oh excuse me, I'll just create grid, yes, and we can create uh, different uh, uh, areas to start DTM creation and uh, what, uh, that's all, and um, another question Mm, please uh, wait a bit. 
And uh, another question uh, about uh, can you see stereo with 16-bit uh, per sample images? Um, when we uh, visual, uh, when we work uh, in photo mode, um, I mean uh, for visualization in photo mode, we use uh, three channels uh, and eight bit per sample image. But of course, uh, when we if you save uh, geometric parameters separately or use sixteen bit per sample option uh, for converting, you uh, can uh, create orthophoto, uh, final orthophoto with uh, this color depth, I mean 16 bit per sample. Uh, for visualization in photo mode we use 3 channel, uh, 8 bit per sample image. And, um, do you have any question, questions? And another question, yes, it's a bit technical question. Uh, I need to ask our uh, programmers and uh, it's uh, about uh, using uh, to see stereo images with the latest Full HD 3D televisions. Yes, it's a technical question and uh, please write uh, to our support and uh, <laughs> they, are, uh, they answer you. And um, another question, uh, do you have any experience with GUI stereo images from different years, seasons? If you do, what are the final result accuracy? Uh, Mm, to be honest, I don't know about this experience. I think, uh, of course, I can ask our product uh, department and uh, please just write to our support and uh, maybe yes. And uh, I, th But uh, I think the, uh, if we speak about uh, accuracy of uh, block adjustment, I think it is. It depends on the quality of ground control points, and uh, it is uh, the same as a, uh, half a meter. It's pixel accuracy. But uh, uh, if we speak about uh, orthophoto and about them. Um, it depends on uh, image uh, quality. If I understand correctly, you have uh, two or three stereo pair uh, from different uh, seasons or what? Okay, uh, now uh, uh, I'm waiting for your answer, uh, Jana, and uh, um, now uh, let me uh, invite you to our uh, conference. Uh, uh, it uh, will be held in September in Spain, and uh, there are um, there are master classes uh, with um, and uh, with demonstration. Uh, photo mode uh, 5.2 and uh, you can ask your question and uh, please <laughs> uh, we are looking forward to see uh, you there and uh, all information uh, about our conference you can find uh, in our um, official uh, website it's here uh, it is uh, rakurs.ru uh, and there is information about uh, our annual uh, conference from imagery to map. There is a uh, website of our conference, please. If you have any questions, just uh, connect, uh, just uh, send a mail to our um, commercial department and <laughs> welcome to our uh, conference and uh, what about another questions Another question about the webinar. Uh, yes, uh, it is possible. You can uh, see this webinar at uh, our um, website and um, 
there is previous webinars and you can find these webinars here our website mm, training I suppose uh, webinars and there is some previous uh, there is there are previous webinars and you can view them here and just click on this uh, link or download video Uh, okay, I think uh, it's time to finish uh, our today's webinar and uh, please uh, send uh, us your comments, your suggestions uh, and uh, thank you very much for your uh, attention. I think I see you on uh, our conference. Bye-bye.